Well, this looks an interesting read. The early Lake County Ohio settlers from the Isle of Man. Where, That's where'd right. You, where'd you come across this? Then? Well, I was at a. Um, there's a, a library in Cleveland that's that's downtown that's like for local history. So yeah. I, I first found it there when I was home. I call Cleveland home. Still. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because um, uh, I I just thought I would do a little bit of research. Um, so yeah, the the genealogy society I think in conjunction with the there was a Greater Ohio Manx Society yeah. maybe still is um, had put this together. So yeah, some information about. Um, about yeah, about settlers to Lake County. Uh, Lake County is, is where I grew up, and it's um, just east of of Cuyahoga County, which is where Cleveland is. Right. So Cleveland, a lot of Manx people came uh, came to, but I think especially Lake County there on the east. Um, and this is members of the Northern Ohio Manx Society celebrating. That's right. Yeah. They don't look to be celebrating too heavily there, but no, um, they look kind of solemn. <laughs> and the Alan Kerr mode is that? Yeah, a, that's my great grandfather. So right. he's he's my last relative that was born uh, on right. the island, um, and that he lived in Peel. Yeah, and so what year would he have left Peel? And you know, um, it was late, like right before nineteen hundreds. Right. Like, you know, late eighteen hundreds. Yeah. Came. He came yeah. as a young man. Yeah. And so, yeah, we, we sort of know that in Ohio and Cleveland, you know, that, that's obviously where, you know, the main area which the, the Manx went to. But there's some great, there's great, um, some names in here, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so they've got, it looks like they've got, for for families where there was, you know, a large amount of people coming, they've got a chapter for each. So yeah. we've got Tier, um, Crellin, yeah. Harrison... Radcliffe, casement gone. as well, which is really interesting, you know, yeah. um, which is a name that there's not many casements around. Okay. Now, now in the Isle of Man, it still is a, a you know family, but you know not maybe um, as many. But um, and would would there be other Manx connections in your family then, or would you have known of other you know sort of Manx people at all? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know it at the time, but my um, my I had a great aunt whose last name was Tier. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and so I didn't make that connection at the time. And then my, my grandfather um, remarried because my grandmother died when um, when my dad was just a young man. Yeah. And the, so the woman my grandfather married's last name was Quirk. Right. So now that I've heard all these names, I'm, uh, now I'm realizing, oh, they actually like really sort of ran in circles with like Manx Americans. Yeah, um, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, did you know those were Manx names? I didn't, no, no, not until recently. Yeah, yeah. No, it's interesting. I mean, I'm not sure whether the 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 Greater Ohio Manx Society still exists at all. I don't know, I, and I'm not sure if it's... So there used to be something in Cleveland called Mona's Relief Society. I don't oh, know if you've I heard about know. that, but it was an organization to, to help... Um, Manx people who came to the area and were struggling a little bit, um, and so I think I think it's possible that it grew out of that. Yeah, yeah. No, really interesting thing. Mm-hmm. Che- cheers for sharing this sure. with us. You know, yeah, happy um, to. Yeah, good stuff. Grimaud Rich. Sarah.